It's the Patriots and the Dolphins under the lights on Monday. So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set, and off we go here on EA Sports. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Miami offense will make their way onto the field. They'll be let out by the young man in his second season in the NFL. You know, some weeks, Mike, it just seems like you just can't do anything wrong. Every play, every throw, it just seems like everything goes your way. And that was certainly the case last week. Throwing for over 300 yards, three touchdowns. Hey, what? His receivers, they're coming into every game saying, we're going to get a lot of opportunities. And their quarterback can continue to play at that high of a level. There's a lot of production to go around. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. Put a receiver in motion to the left. Throwing now on third and long. And that is incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. And taking the snaps, a quarterback now in his third year in the league. A lot of things jump off the tape when you watch last week, Mike, but it was really just the overall execution of the game plan that stuck out the most. I mean, not only to get them in the end zone a handful of times, he protected the ball, and he routinely exploited the weaknesses that they found during the week on film. He's going to be looking to do the same thing over these next four quarters. If he's successful, they're going to have a shot to leave here with another win. He'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll send their tight end left. Back to the air again on second and ten. And that ball incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and... Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. They will indeed go as they look to throw. Oh, he gets a good read defensively and intercepts it. Picked off by Javon Howard. And he's going to give his offense a short field to work with as they look for their first points of the game. Back to throw here to begin the drop. He'll get this complete. That's E.J. Brown. Second and seven. Now they'll set up to throw. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. And they'll take this down inside with 35. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. He'll look to throw. He'll be hit. As he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. Back to the air one more time. He'll get this out quickly to Hill. Third and long. Hill looks to throw. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's on for the second time. 
We'll try to get something inside the tent. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Patriots offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we move into the second half of the season, you can see he's the NFL leader in rushing touchdowns. Going up top. And that is incomplete. I like the idea of using the passing game to try to give your offense a little breathing room. You find yourself in the shadow of your own goalpost, Mike. Worst case scenario, you do not want to punt out of your own end zone. So I like the idea of trying to pick up some positive gains through the air. They've got to come up with some completions and try to pick up at least one first down. Or you're going to put your defense in a tough spot. He'll drop to throw. Quick throw here is complete. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. They motion the slot man left. They'll look to throw again. Quick throw taken in. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Slot receiver headed right. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. They'll come up to third and three. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. That's caught. Left side. Complete and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. A touchdown, lucky number 13 on the season. Oh, he missed another one. Another missed extra point. Two thus far tonight. So the lead stands at six nothing as this one is kicked off. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. The deficit, six points. The touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and 10. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. in motion is Brown. Here's the Florida Gator, Damian Pierce. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard. That's it. Third down and nine. Back to throw. And this drive is a disaster. He goes down for a third consecutive time. Another punt brings another look at Ryan Stonehouse to kick as this drive quickly stalled out. So he's on to punch it away. Look it up through the raindrops. No issue there, though. Fair catch, called for, and taken successfully. Right away, they'll set up to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often. And it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. Using the tight end to get to the end zone, Greg, at your old position, you're very familiar with that. That catch and carry, what an ability for your tight end to take it to the house. Yeah, and this was never really the strength of my game, Mike, but we're seeing so many tight ends around the league who not only are great at securing the catch and making the tough ones, but it's their ability to extend the play after the catch that's separating them, just like we saw here. The kickoff team is out on the field. We're back to it as the kick's away. 
This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense ready to get back at it. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. What an impressive play by this linebacker. I mean, Mike, back in the day, you would never see a linebacker take down a wide receiver in the open field like that. But these guys are tremendous athletes who can really hold their own in space. He killed that play before he even had a chance to go. Here's a third and ten. Man in motion, heading left. set up to throw. That one on target. Hope's got it. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Set to go now on first and ten. Hill brought in motion. A run with the fullback, Ingle. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and ten. Caught by Tyree. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. The red zone now. He'll drop to throw. It is brought in in the end zone. Tyreek Hill. Touchdown, Miami. Ineligible receiver downfield. Offense. Shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Hill brought in motion. Now faking the give. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game like, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. Question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? He's got it at about the eight, and he's in. Jalen Polk, touchdown Dolphins. The extra point, up and good. And the Dolphins are on the board. It's now 14 to seven. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now return coming from the seven. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Patriots offense and their running back set to go once more. And he continues to be a thorn in the side of defenses trying to stop him. Currently second in the NFL in rushing. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to take a shot down the field. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. They send Jackson, the tight end, in motion. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Going left side down the field, and it's complete. It's a big hit for the Patriots. 31 yards. Throwing now on first and 10. He's going to look for the home run ball. That'll be batted away in. 
incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. Uh, trying to make a play out of the pocket. Couldn't do it. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come. Because this defense, they're on to you. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Bell is the man in motion. Gets it away quickly. It's caught. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 30-yard line. Here's first and 10. Run the toss play to Pierce. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. So after the loss on first, Here's second and 14. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. And in motion is Brown. On play action, he'll set up to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I continue in just a moment. So now Mike McDaniel will send out the field goal route. This a 48-yard attempt. This one is good. He knocks it through. And the Dolphins are back within four at 14 to 10. Anytime you find yourself kicking in these elements, Mike, you just can't take anything for granted, especially when it comes to your plant foot, your balance, your control, your footing. It's so important. And give credit. He does a great job here able to put that one through. The Patriots offense ready for this next possession. Philippe sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. And another great throw right there, Mike. And when you take a look at the numbers, they certainly don't lie. He has just been flat out terrific in this first half. His ability to spread the ball around, take what the defense has given him. They've certainly had a lot of success here early on. And that's a first down. It will be a game of eight. It just seems nowadays, Mike, there's so many running backs in the NFL that you can classify as being dual threats. Of course, we see them every week make their impact on the ground. But here in the first half, it's his ability in the passing game and do bulk of his damage as a receiving threat. They'll look to throw yet again. That is hauled in at the five. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, New England. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. 
Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Dolphins offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Back to throw here to begin the drive. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Now they'll set up to throw. He'll get this out quickly to Hill. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. First and 10. He'll look to throw. That's to the right side. He's got Pope. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. The outside, that's caught by Hill. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. So now the Dolphins turn it over to their field goal team. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Dolphins are able to get it back within a score. The cut showing five seconds remaining in this half as the kicks away. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. Scoring instead they get nothing. Time has run out. This first half has come to an end. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. And, and instead, why don't we get right back to it? As we'll get ready for the third quarter. Yeah. The rain not letting up. It continues to be a factor here as we get back underway in the second half. And they'll opt not to return this, but since the ball did hit in that landing zone, the ball only comes out to the 20-yard line. They'll look to throw. He's going to dial up another deep ball. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. Big one there to start the second half. 52 yards. They send Jackson the tight end in motion. On first and ten, they'll set up to back three. Third time tonight he's been intercepted. Picked off by Christian Gonzalez. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and ten. Right away they'll set up to throw. And they'll get about half of what they needed to pick up a five and sets up second and five. He'll drop to throw. He'll look middle here. It's caught by Hill. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Comes the blitz as he looks to throw. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Back to the air one more time. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Back 
to throw. Open man downfield is Brown. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. A big play and a much needed one as well. 36 yards. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. Ben in motion is Brown. Here's Pierce. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. will even the score here in the third. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. The return starts from the five. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but a... First and ten from the 38-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Now faking the give. Oh, the struggles continue. Another interception. And he's going to give a short field to his offense here as they try to break the tie. set up to throw. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. That'll be taken in by... This is taken in by the defense. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away properly. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. That's a two-touchdown game for him. Number seven and eight for the season. Their head coach, two fingers in the air. They'll say no to the extra point. They go for two. And that is incomplete. Two-point conversion attempt winds up being unsuccessful. Anytime you fail on a two-point try, there's always going to be second-guessing about whether that was the right play call. In this case, they decided to throw the ball, which I like. They just need better execution, and they end up coming up a little short. So they come to the line for first down and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Hill brought in motion. Off the plate. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. And the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of them. And it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another seven. What can they do here? This is third and forever. 
Hill brought in motion. Throwing now on third and one. And they're going to get him once again. He's under siege. That is three in a row. Punt team headed out for the Dolphins. He's on to punt it for the fourth time tonight. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. To the air now on first and ten. And that will be incomplete. It turns out to be the final play. Back to the air again on second and ten. Now a shot here, deep middle. That one broken up. It's incomplete. Over him down the field. It'll set up third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. And the Patriots ready to kick it away. As they try to play the field position game here. Protecting a fourth quarter lead. Stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The Dolphins offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They'll do so with first and ten. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Tight end going in motion here. They'll keep it on the ground. He's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs. Back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. And out of the gun. He'll throw. He's going to air this one out. Looking for Hill. And the Patriots are going to get the football. And they'll have it just past the 20-yard line. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. Going for it all. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. He couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. Shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys... second down receiver in motion headed left oh yeah and the offense are going to be set up with a first and goal it's a nice run there it gets him down to the six hill brought in motion he'll run only a yard there tackle made at the five here comes second and goal. Now 
now they'll set up to throw. And he's in. Touchdown, Dolphins. Not going for two. They'll kick the point after. The kick is good. Important one as they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be taken down as the next drive will begin there. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll run here. <laughs> and he's going to be brought down up past the 45. 12 yards on the game. That's good for a quick first down. A zone read here, and he's going to keep this himself. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. Second and 11. They'll stick to the ground. They're going to work this down inside the 45. A pickup of 14 on that one. First down, New England. He'll keep this on the zone read. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. We'll go with the drop play here on second down. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. A handoff as they try to run it here. Just a short pickup down inside the 30. They'll come up for second and nine. They send Jackson the tight end in motion. They'll stick with him again. And this is going to make the play caller happy. Good run. Eight yards. Much more manageable third down coming up. Try to pick this one up on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here. Looks like a pretty good spot, though. Yes, he's got it. That's a first down. Motioning him from the left side. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. They bring the tight end in motion. They'll drop to throw. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down. They are set up with first and goal. When you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball. And you thought, maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. Now, first and goal. Trying to run this one in. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead 
here in the final minute of play. That touchdown puts him in double digits. Now 10 rushing touchdowns on the season. This is a big spot for the Patriots as they'll go for two. And this time they stop him short of the goal line. Touchdown a moment ago. No two-point conversion to add on as they come up empty. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense about ready to take over once more. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here. They'll begin it with first and ten. Working free downfield. That's Polk. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. Ben in motion is Brown. Comeback route, and he's got it. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. So it's a win for the Patriots. It'll be a long but happy flight home as they earn the victory here in London. I'm gonna try to be the